Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. We interview America's top advisors like today's guest, Mac Browder, to help business owners enjoy more freedom, grow companies faster, transition ownership seamlessly, and create lasting legacies. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Norm. Good to be here. Yeah, appreciate you joining us. Hey, I'm going to start out and just have you tell our audience a little bit about your background and then your career path up until now. Norman, I'm a CPA by training. Um, when I came out of college, I went to work for Touche Ross, which we now know as Deloitte and Touche, mm -hmm. and uh, had the opportunity to work with different types of clients, uh, mm -hmm. some in retail, some in manufacturing. Really enjoyed the experience. And after five years with uh, Touche Ross, um, I left to start my own firm. Okay. And we had a 30-person firm mm -hmm. for about 10 years. Uh, in the middle 80s, I uh, uh, wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I had pretty much run the course in, in public accounting. Okay. I had had the opportunity to be president of the state association and heavily involved in continuing education, which was great. Mm -hmm. But I probably uh, didn't manage uh, uh, the life situation so well <clears throat> and frankly decided it was time for a change. So mm -hmm. I got uh, a registered investment advisor. Mm -hmm. I got uh, various types of securities licensing and um, I started a financial planning practice. Mm -hmm. well, uh, not too far into that practice, uh, one of my former accounting clients came in and said, uh, we've had preliminary conversations to sell our company to a Canadian public company. Mm -hmm. Would you handle it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, whatever that means, mm -hmm. sure, I'll handle it. So uh, that, was a, that was a good engagement. And at the end of the engagement, a couple of the attorneys said, we haven't run into you before in this arena. Uh, where do you practice? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I'm from Memphis. And they said, well, you know, with your background and the experience, it's a natural for you. Mm -hmm. So from there, I was in the um, um, small M&A, uh, mm -hmm. business brokerage business. Uh, Norm, my transactions, a large transaction for me has an enterprise value of $40 million, mm -hmm. uh, probably an average transaction. Transaction for me has an enterprise value of between five and seven million. Okay. I will do smaller transactions mm -hmm. uh, depending upon the referring source. Mm -hmm. So I'll stop there. Okay. How do the people that know you the best, how do you think they describe you personally? A uh, problem solver. Okay. Uh, a lot of people still me know, know me as a CPA mm -hmm. because, again, that was my initial introduction to the business world. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can uh, probably ask somebody that hadn't seen me in 20 years and say, oh, yeah, he's the CPA. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't mind that mm -hmm. identification, although I hadn't practiced public accountancy in 25 years. Okay. Uh, my license to practice as a CPA is inactive because I don't mm -hmm. do the continuing education anymore. Right. So do you you just do uh, sell side transactions or do do you do some buy side or? Uh, no, I will tell you, it's been hard for me to do buy side. Mm -hmm. um, um, had some engagements, but uh, when I do my search and mm -hmm. uh, uh, contact a party that you may have somebody interested in talking to them about uh, mm -hmm. purchasing their business, uh, a, a typical response is, "Well, anything's for sale at a price." Yeah, and and I find uh, a great difficulty in finding motivated sellers when mm -hmm. I'm doing a targeted search for a buyer. So don't do a lot of those. Okay. Is there uh, anything that differentiates you, do you think, from some of the others that are in M&A like you? Well, yes. Um, you know, there, there are a number of things. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't do an upfront valuation uh, for a fee. Okay. Uh, if you remember the old Geneva model, let's mm -hmm. go in and hold the mm -hmm. seminar and uh, mm -hmm. tell them how it works and then uh, get an engagement to do a, 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 a market study mm -hmm. uh, valuation. I, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, I was. Um, uh, I take the approach that I will go through your data uh, mm -hmm. that you accumulate for me, and I will do what I call an advocate valuation. I mm -hmm. will give you a range of values in which I think your business will sell. Okay. Uh, and that's a part of the free introductory process to see mm -hmm. if we're going to be able to do business. If the seller's expectations are unreasonable. 
reasonable in my view, I don't take the engagement. Okay. Is there anything you like to do uh, more than anything else in your business? Play golf. Play golf. Okay. <laughs> well, you probably you probably meet lots of clients doing. I, I like to do the impossible deals. Okay. I, I like to. Um, I don't like to come in behind other people, but I have where mm -hmm. there's been an engagement ongoing for a period of time. They've not been able to generate anything, and mm -hmm. and then just like an engagement we just completed, you're referred in by a trusted referral source, and mm -hmm. in that particular case within about six weeks we had the buyer mm -hmm. so um, I, I, we probably don't have magic mm -hmm. uh, we do have a methodical approach and been doing this over 30 years so I kind of know how to go about it okay so doing this 30 years, there's got to be something that gives you energy to do it another. Oh, I'll tell you, no, you meet the greatest people. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, only in America could you see some of these situations where mm -hmm. people have created a business and you didn't know there was a business opportunity there. Right. So it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, most of my referrals are from um, attorneys or mm -hmm. CPAs, mm -hmm. and they put a lot of trust and confidence in you to, to mm -hmm. refer their clients to you to, to handle their needs. And Mm -hmm. And it takes great satisfaction to meet their, their expectations in those deals. Okay. Uh, last question. Business owners watch our show for one of four reasons. You probably heard it in the introduction. They're either wanting to enjoy a little more freedom, uh, grow the company faster, uh, transition ownership, in your case, through a third-party sale. And then sometimes they're looking for a way to uh, redefine their purpose or maybe uh, create a legacy for the future. In, in your opinion, what would be the best tip you could give them in any one of the four areas? I know your options. Okay. Uh, so many people wait until a life event. <laughs> Uh, kind of uh, forces mm -hmm. uh, an exit. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to work with people and recommend early on that they know approximate valuation of their company periodically, mm -hmm. uh, that they know what their options are. They've got the estate attorney involved, they've got the tax planner involved, they've got the family involved mm -hmm. so that everybody understands. I buy into the exit planning process concept. Mm -hmm. I just choose not as an individual practitioner mm -hmm. to practice that way. There's just so much I can do with my time. So I'm primarily mm -hmm. on the business brokerage side. Okay, great. Good interview. Fantastic. That was Mac Browder. For more information about Mac and his company, please check out the show notes for this episode on our website.